Hello guys, my name is Desmond. Welcome to my lesson for today. We look at your mathematics as you can see over there. So ladies and gentlemen, please do allow me to say it is very much important it is very very much important because Mozozo. what I'm about to see it's massively important without learning something new it's a day wasted Fully by so saying please no good tool please 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 Hamisa Please do make sure that by the end of each and every lesson that I conduct, make sure that you learn something new. Okay, so as I've indicated, um, we'll be looking at mathematics, specifically solve for X, and we've got a problem that we are given away. Most importantly, for you to provide a solution to every problem, you should be in a position where you fully understand the type of mess problem that you are dealing with. What type of a mess problem is that? This is an equation. Why am I saying it's an equation of equal sign? Most importantly, it's a quadratic equation. What makes it to be a quadratic equation? It's because of that over there. So I say yeah, a moment you've got a quadratic equation, ask yourself this question. A Umi is it the standard form? If an answer to that question is a big no, that means you need it in the standard form. Remember, a, this is how it should be in the standard form. You need to have positive a value and again it needs to be in that format and everything has to be equated to zero. That's how you know it is in the standard form. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen. So now, once it is in the standard form, that means you can trade away eyes. But if it is not in the standard form, you need to arrange it until it's in the standard form, neutralize. Once you factorized, you can equate that to zero, equate that to zero, and you solve. Remember, power of two simply means you are going to have two possible answers. So that means at all times, when you are dealing with a quadratic equation, you will always have two possible answers. Very, very much important. That, okay, here comes the question. The problem that we are dealing with, uh, is it in the standard form? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Quickly, what makes it to be in the standard form? How do you know? It's in the standard form. Uh, it's in the standard form. It's equal to zero and um, the x squared comes first and then the x and then and the number at the back. And most importantly, we've got our positive a value. So that's 100%. Then we can straight away factorize. Not sure the cool is if you remember what I said regarding a factorization. So let's maybe try. Uh, to apply the same procedure. We've got xx there. What two numbers multiply together will give you 20. And again, when you work them out together, they can give you a 1. What are those two numbers? 5 and 4. 5 and 4. Yes, 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 yes. 5 and 4. And if you remember, we said this, the Bigger number takes the sign of the middle term. So the bigger number between these two numbers, five is the bigger number. It therefore takes a sign of the middle term, meaning five is the one which is negative. So now, what sign should be there such that when we multiply that and that, it gives us negative 20? 
is it positive or negative what sign should be there it's positive yes 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 i fully agree at positive so can you see you have successfully factorized uh, that problem so now that we can say the whole of that equals to zero the whole of that equals to zero so that is x uh, plus four it equals to zero and then you transpose remember we want to now solve for x meaning x is equals to 84 or you take the whole of that you equal to zero then x it is equals to a positive five a, i'm not sure if a, everyone understood that solution a, did it make sense to everyone hi sir i have a question yebo so why don't we use um one and twenty inside the brackets and we use four and five a very good question a very very good question remember guys what makes a question to be good it's not whether the question is correct relevant or relevant as long as there's that engagement that will make me to explain a, and clarify your confusion i'm not the only one who's wondering some are wondering but maybe uh, they are scared to ask so we have two numbers that can be multiplied together and give us 20. we have a uh, four and five what else we have uh, we also have two and uh, what is it ten uh, are these the only two numbers i think so ne wait is it four and five years on that yes okay so terrible remember the reason why we chose uh, this two it's because we can work out this two end up giving us that invisible one thing unfortunately we cannot use those two because there's no way we can work out two number and they end up giving us that invisible one over there so sometimes you might have let's say it's a number whereby you can still have some more numbers that you can multiply together so you can have as many numbers as you can but what matters the most is that those two numbers you choose can you somehow work them out until they give you the middle term so can you see this these two numbers can say negative five and a positive four these two numbers they are equal to that negative over there that is why you will notice that we take that negative as it is and we substitute it there as it is uh, the cool is if you don't want to do that one of say the bigger number and whatever and you also this one as it is and you substitute it there then from there, what you do is just to do uh, all of that. Can you see? You completely know that sign four, five, it is a negative. You know the sign that it is positive because when you say five plus four, it is it is a, that arrangement that ends up giving you that negative a, one. So that's basically a you rise using the first principle this another easy way of factorizing that uh, using a quadratic equation but you need to be very quick and i would always recommend that in case if you are dealing with a quadratic equation that is a bit complicated and not a uh, easily factorized using the first principle uh, I'm not sure if it was Larissa who asked that question, but does it make sense now, uh, honorable member? Uh, it was me, Rose, and it makes sense. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I hope uh, everyone understood that. I want to tell you guys something uh, that you might not be aware of. Um, I'm pretty much sure that 
uh, this is how examiners uh, say these questions. Um, this is a question uh, that was allocated how many marks? Let's see. It was allocated three marks. So you might be wondering how did they come up with that uh, equation. And this is what I'm suspecting, guys. I'm suspecting that um, maybe me hide all of that and say, a man wanted you to end up having your final answers being a negative four or a positive five. Remember, guys, a, for those of you guys who are new, a, on your screen, you shouldn't be seeing a list of everyone who's attending. You should be able to see all the edges of a, my whiteboard. And for you to do that, make sure that you click on that mini screen shows where I'm writing. And then a list of everyone else who attended has to be in that a type of a row, but in a form of a list, because you won't see everywhere a, I'm writing. This is what examiners do. They begin to work out in the open direction. So what? I don't know if I'm the only one that can't hear you, but I can't hear anything. Nothing on this side, too. Yeah, me too. It's me too. Okay, guys, I think there was a bit of disconnection, but I'm back now. I just want to quickly make sure that it's still recording. Yes, it's recording. Uh, is it still clear on your side? Can you hear me now? And can you see over there? Yes, sir, we can see properly. Okay. Yes, sir. Carol, what I was saying is, um, will say we want this letter to end up having a final answer of negative four and a five. Then they work out this thing in reverse. They know from your final answers, you will need to have a, this final answers factorized. Meaning you're going to have X, and then here inside the bracket is going to be opposite I and positive. And here it is going to be a, an opposite. And then from there, they say that multiplied by that, it is x squared. That multiplied by that is negative 5x. That multiplied by that, it is positive 4x. That multiplied by that, it is negative 20. It's equals to 0. Then they work out the like terms, meaning uh, you end up giving uh, x squared is that. This is divisible 1x is that. This is minus 20 equals to zero. So you see, uh, they put it out in that upwards direction. Then this is what they are going to give you as exam question. So can you see, they already have the name of that question. What you do, you need to uh, work it out the same way we've done from there going uh, onwards. I just want you guys to be aware that uh, understand math uh, uh, to an extended level where you also understand how they derive some of uh, the questions. So that was just uh, to give you guys some light on certain questions. But now, uh, let's quickly move on to the next and, and see if we can uh, survive. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure that I'm copying the question correctly because it happens that 
uh, I correctly copy the question and we spent uh, two years trying to work it out. It has happened many times last year uh, when we're doing trigonometry where we did not if everything uh, was copied correctly uh, and it ends up being a disaster. Okay. So before I work out this question, let me indicate to say on Friday, Monday to Friday, I do master classes. A master class is a lesson where all the grade 10s and 12 are attending. So that's what we focus on chapters which are common in all grades. For example, a bazaar. Um, so for X is common in grade 10, 11, and 12. We do is try and make sure that we, we reveal all the tricks so that whoever in the specific grade they are exposed to all types of uh, tricks and common mistakes later to solve for x that um whenever they come across a problem which is a bit challenging they will be better positioned by recall all that was explained in different lessons only when the specific chapter which is only done in a specific date for example let's say a class if it's done in grade 12 it won't be done in master class it will be done in those other groups that we say you should join so that means that we will only be doing a specific chapters. So let's see um here we've got a problem Sure, if there's someone who would like to quickly uh, give a on regarding this mathematical problem that we're dealing with. What type of MS problem is that? Uh, is it in the whatever? If it is, what do we do? What guides us uh, in terms of the next step? Just like I've explained yesterday, anyone who would like to give a try before I work it out, Pantubamiti. Remember, Sir. remember, remember, the coolies, uh, you do know the rules as well. So in case if you want to give it a try on members, uh, you just need to mention your name. I will recognize you, uh, honorable member. Uh, just mention your name if you want to work it out. Sir, your mic today is not working nicely. Yeah. Let me try something. Maybe let me mute and mute. Uh, Umi, uh, can you hear me now? <clears throat> yeah, is that, uh, yeah, you are cutting, cutting today. I don't know what's happened with your mic. Uh, maybe let me try and check if it's the same case. Ever. Bossy Siwe. Uh, am I breaking from the side? Carol, Uzi, uh, Pindi, Aliko, and D. I can hardly hear you. I'm even trying to leave the group. And okay. Reconnect. Okay, maybe better, better. Okay. In that case, let me, uh, for a second, leave, connect with wi-fi and then i'll be back just now uh... hello i come back uh, how is it now carol what is you uh, still breaking Match Clear now. Better than before. Yes. Okay. Njengoba Bengi Show. Here we are facing a mass parabellum. So now uh, I would like to give you guys an opportunity, not necessarily to work it out, but just to explain what are we dealing with. Uh, what guides us uh, regarding the next step and whatever in relation to the first step, uh, why that type of a first 
step. I just don't want to give you guys some hints. But most importantly, uh, Carol, um, in all of my lessons, uh, if you want to give it a try, you just mention your name and you will be recognized. Don't straight away uh, answer that question. Just, this is just to make sure that there's a uh, order. You don't find a honorable member in Pumalanga speaking and there's someone uh, in Cape Town speaking at the same time. So we just want to make sure that um, we keep our parliament in order. So anyone who'd like to give it a try, Kolahano. I just got a response from Kolahano. I'm not sure if there's another one uh, who's still waiting for that message to deliver. Okay, Kuli Kuli, uh, go for it. So, sir, it's um, it's an equation, and then mm -hmm. it is a quadratic equation because of it is equals to zero. So it's in the standard form. Yeah, it's equals to zero and it has a square, like it's power to two. The one term is power to two. And also the, like that statement that says correct to two decimal places is kind of like a hint that it's a quadratic equation. Okay, 100%. And most importantly, this statement in most cases, um, you'll only have it when you're dealing with a, a quadratic equation uh, under solve for x. But most importantly, it reminds you that you need to use uh, that formula of quadratic uh, equation. I'm pretty much sure that you guys still remember where that formula comes from based on our previous lessons. Okay, so now... Um, to easily work it out, do this. I'm not sure if you guys are writing from your side, um, but if you're writing, let's say our A is three and then our B value. Remember, this is A, this is B, this is C. Most importantly, with their signs. Okay, so now the sign for B is negative two. For C, the sign for C is negative six. Then, most importantly, you will be allocated a mark for correctly writing down that formula. Uh, depending on the grade that you are in, you might find that in grade 11, they do give you a mark, but in grade 12, they assume that you already know that formula uh, because you've been using it from grade 11 or past grades. So now let's uh, substitute. So you just say x is equals to negative remember bantubakit remember i said dealing with negative numbers it's like holding a hot pot if you hold a hot pot with bare hands it's going to burn you so for us not to get bent let's wear the gloves so our gloves are our brackets in that way you will never go wrong so a plus or minus square root of into negative 2 squared minus 4. What is our A value? It's positive 3. What is our C value? It is negative 6. Guys, be very much careful to uh, make sure that the over, that line, it is not just over uh, where you do it uh, there. It is the over starting from uh, there all the way up to there, meaning it is all over, everything over 2, A being 3. Then once you get to this stage, that's when you can punch all of that on your calculator, and then you get that fraction that you write there. What are you guys getting starting with a positive sign? Let's always start with a positive sign because it's the one at the top, and then uh, once we are done, we can then do the negative uh, sign. What are you guys getting there? Let me also punch from my side. You start with okay. the over sign. Uh, remember, we are going to have a decimal and a fraction. We need that fraction to make sure that we score maximum marks. So let me also punch it negative 2, then a plus square root of into negative uh, 2, close square minus 4, a is 3, 
negative 6 over uh, 2, 3. This is what I'm... What are you guys getting there? The common mistake uh, um, that you guys make one it plus... is to forget that uh, power there. Make sure not to forget that. Uh, the cool is, whatever that you're getting there, uh, I think it's what I got as well. Uh, this is what I'm getting. Is this what you're getting, uh, the coolies? Yes, sir. Okay. Then from there, uh, this is the button that you click to convert it to a decimal. And they said correct to two. So that means we're getting 1.79. Uh, is this what you're getting for the first answer? Yes, sir. Yes. Then the next step, what you do, you go to that same a uh, calculation that you punched on your screen. Then you just go update uh, that sign and put a negative. Because here we have done that using a positive sign. So now we need to do the same, but with a negative sign there. So this is what I'm getting. I'm not sure if you guys are also getting the same thing. Then from there, you convert it to a decimal. It ends up being negative 1.12. I'm not sure if Levanzala uh, Kankulunku is getting the same thing. Yes, it's the same thing. Okay, 100%. So now, uh, I'm not sure. Do you guys allow me to move on to the next? A question or is there someone who's got a question in relation to that before we move on so sir um oh, oh, so can i ask a question mm -hmm. you so sir with with the with the step after um substituting the values into the equation name is it always going mm -hmm. to be that like for example the first answer is x equals to 1 plus square root 19 over 3. So is it always going to be the case that the only thing that you will do for the other answer is to um, put a negative sign? So where there is a positive sign, just put the negative sign, but it's still the same values. Yes, 100%. Uh, still the same thing. You just go back and update that sign. So this thing, it actually means the same thing but you, you firstly have a plus sign and a negative sign. So it's more like they just don't want you to write this thing two times, where you write it there with a positive sign, and then you also write it there with a negative sign. So it's more like it's been combined by saying plus or minus. But you, st you start separating it at this stage, and then you continue. Um, makes sense. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. Liseri, Lindiwe, Matabelo, Rosie, Bantubagiti. Is that a corner lap or are you watching Uzalo there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are still here. Yes, okay, 100%. Um, let me remove all of that. Uh, I'm suspecting someone is busy. Uh, watching X repo there. Right. Uh, 1.1.2 1 .1 Lea Puma. 1.1.3 uh, Yaka. What are we having there? So it's X uh, uh, minus 1 squared uh, greater than 9. And this question is allocated for max. So the previous question that we've done, it was allocated. Um, for max and also this one allocated for max. Wanaga uh, Roslin, when I luche udidile last year, many times the whole year, out is usually abanye abantu na bagangkulungu ukuti basbo nanjani lezindo lezi. Umi, do you not want to give it a try and tell us what can earn over there? Umi, umi. 
I'm not yet prepared. Uh, I couldn't get that. I'm not sure if Umi is saying no idea on that one. Uh, Matabel. Okay. Anyone who would like to guide us in terms of uh, what's going on there, just to interpret uh, the problem that we're having there. It is inequality. There is an inequality. Uh, what makes it to be an inequality? It is the greatest to sign. The sign. Okay, the sign. So now, what type of an inequality is that? Quadratic. Okay, one may say quadratic because of that. So let's quickly work it out um, to check if it's quadratic and if it can be written in a, a, the standard form. So obviously, this power of 2, it means 2 of the same thing, meaning we're having x minus 1, we're also having x minus um, 1. So, hey, it seems like we are done, Moses. This thing, uh, it's already in the, in the standard form, Moses. Uh, can you see that it's already in the standard form? Uh, Pindi, can you see? Mm. Rosie, is it not in the standard form? Uh, no, good tool. no, it's not. Yes, in sir, it is in the standard form. Hmm? Yes, sir. Uh, is it in the standard form? Yebo no maka. No. No. Yes. Uh, yes, no. Yes, you are right. Uh, it's oh, a if big it's no. I check on my side, but I'm unable to hear you at all. Uh, who was speaking there? I'm just not sure, but whoever honorable member was speaking, um, I'm just not sure if it's the network on your side, but just in case if um, it happens to everyone, just let me know. But luckily, this lesson is being recorded, and I suspect... Uh, sometimes it does happen that you find that the network uh, is on your side. But otherwise, uh, let's hope for the best and say, um, yes, you are right. This is not in the standard form. And the reason for that, it is because uh, we are not having zero on the right side. So that means we now need to multiply that by that, that by that. What are we having there? So we are having x squared. And then that by that, it is negative x. And then this by that, negative x. That by that, we end up having positive 1 greater than a 9. Maybe let's work out the like terms and say we're having a, that. A take away, take away is two takeaways. And then here we are having 1. A, maybe let me not a, take shortcuts and say this is what we are having. So can you see, guys? This also, it looks like it's in the stand. Yebo. Sorry, sir. Just before you continue, ne? so the first, mm -hmm. like, the sum given, um, the first, first, so the sum itself, are we, can, is it possible or does it make sense to cancel out um, a power with a square root? Like, as much as we can cancel a square root with a power, is it also mm. possible I don't know if I make sense, but is it possible to do the same, like to cancel a power huh? with a square root? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you are saying maybe to put in a square root there and also a square root uh, that side, just to remove that to there. 
Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that. Uh, uh, because cause, uh, in this case, let's say, remember, uh, every time when you introduce a square root, you end up having an answer which is a plus or minus. Maybe let me say this. Uh, what we, what did we say about the odd numbers and uh, even numbers? You remember uh, we said we are having maybe x to the exponent 1 over 2. This is the odd number. When we are having the odd numbers, are we having two possible answers or is it one answer? One answer. One answer, yes. So, uh, the cool is, um, with you applying that approach, it ends up as if you might end up having one answer. Whereas, under uh, quadratic inequalities, uh, you try by all means to approach uh, the problem such that you end up having two possible answers. So, that would be a, a shortcut. But ideally, when you're dealing with inequalities, especially if it's a quadratic inequality, work it out this way so that you do know very well that you'll end up having a, two possible answers. Nay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. So, okay, but sir, so like in, mm -hmm. like in general, in general, let's say yeah. this was not a quad, like, it was not a quadratic inequality. It was just, mm. let's say, um, x minus 1 in brackets to the power of 2. Can we just cancel out mm. the square with the square root? Is that possible? You, you, in that case, you will need to give me a, a full equation. Let's not leave it there, but let's continue. Let's say we're having that a, and what else? So only that. Let's just say that. I'm just asking: Is it possible to cancel this, this like the two, this power two with a square root? So on, let's say we only have that, like we're not solving anything okay. or nothing. Okay. Uh, in this case, remember, uh, the moment you say I'm going to introduce a square root, uh, you are changing the whole thing. Uh, because if it was a, an equation, you can introduce a square root and do it on both sides. But here, there's no both sides. So it's more like you're having four squared. Can you see? And what you're saying is that uh, you introduce a square root to remove that. So it's more like you're saying uh, four to the power of two. When you remove that two, it ends up being four. Whereas four to the power of Two, it is not four, but it is a uh, sixteen. So, let me say the cool is completely. Uh, let's scratch that one off because uh, it actually changes the original problem. I'm not sure if you get me on that one. Uh, it changes the nature of yes, the problem. Sir. So, yeah. So, it, instead of you uh, introducing a square root, you would rather say two of the same thing. Then you say that by that, that by that, that by that, that by that. So in short, it's more like uh, based on what you're asking the coolies. Uh, the moment you have a squared, don't remove that uh, by introducing a square root, but only remove a square root by uh, introducing a squared. Yes, let me say uh, that way and say don't remove a squared by introducing a square root, but you remove a square root by squaring uh, both sides. Remember, when you square, that's when there's an equal sign. You square both sides. But the moment it is just that without an equal sign, it is not an equation. You can't say I'm doing this on both sides because there are no both sides. It's only one thing, meaning you simplify. Uh, does it make sense to all honorable members? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay, 100%. Uh, where were we? I think this is where we were. We were where we were. Uh, this is where we were. Okay, so now let's see. 
I was saying it looks like it's in the standard form, but it is not. We need to transpose that, take it to the other side, and we're having x squared uh, minus 2x. Then can you see, we have 1, uh, that minus that, and then you are having greater than that. Remember, uh, this is what you um, get confused or what you always wonder. What happens when you take that to the other side? It doesn't change. Uh, it only changes if you divide by a negative a value there, meaning we are still having x squared uh, minus 2x. This is minus 8 greater than a 0. So now, can you see, it is now in the standard form, meaning we can, uh, uh, what is it, factorize. Okay, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, what two numbers can be multiplied uh, uh, to give us 8? And when we work them out together, they can give us 2. What are those two numbers? 4 and 2. Yes, 4 and 2. So that means we're having x and x, we're having 4 and 2. And then we say the bigger number between these two takes the sign of the middle term. What is the sign of the middle term? Can you see? This is the middle term. The sign is negative, meaning there we are having a negative. Um, so what sign should be there such that when we say that sign with that sign gives us negative? A positive. 100%. We are having a positive sign over a there. Okay. Uh, so now... Uh, we can therefore get what we call uh, the critical values. How do you get the critical values? That is where you just say x plus 2, you equate it to 0. You still have another uh, 1, which is that is equals to that. And then you say x is equals to, you take that to the other side, it is negative 2. Uh, and then you take that to the other side, x it is equals to positive 4. These are the critical values. What do you need the critical values for? You need those to represent them on a number line where you say negative 2 is on this side and then 4, it is on that side. This is where you need the critical values uh, and what you need them for. I'm not sure if you guys understood uh, that part. It was clear, sir. Uh, I have a question. Yebo. So why did you change the signs from greater to to equals? A very, very good side? question. Uh, this is the reason why. The moment you start hearing yourself saying a uh, critical values. Um, that's when you are allowed to change that sign and make it its equals to. The reason to that is because at, at um, x plus 2, that's where the whole of this it is equals to 0. That is where you are allowed to see um, 0. Then you solve for x and the critical values, you need them just to write on that a number line. So that means you cannot use that sign. Uh, wait, maybe I'm missing uh, your question. I think maybe uh, you are asking why did I change it there, which is a very big and serious mistake. Uh, is that the reason why you are asking, honorable member? But that's why I'm asking. Yes. Guys, that is a very big wrong. Uh, thanks very much for that, honorable member. So can you see, guys, let's add it to our list of possible mistakes uh, related to this type of questions. There, you don't say equals to zero, but you continue with that uh, sign. So it's not supposed to be that, but it is supposed to be that. Uh, you only put an equal sign when you are finding the critical 
uh, values. Uh, does it make sense there, uh, Pantipakit? It makes sense. Yes, sir. So, isn't the sign supposed to change the side it's facing? Uh, another question is coming through. Uh, can you come again uh, on that question, honorable member? So, you said after we put Does the equation mean... in. Wait. After we put the equation. Do you mean? Uh, I heard it was two honorable members speaking. Maybe, Busisiwa, can, can you continue? Uh, what were you saying there? Okay. Or maybe... Do we need to write the statement critical? Yes. Okay, let me say this, Pantibakiti. Um, uh, I'm not yet done with this question. Uh, I just wanted to check if you guys understand what we've done up to this point. And most importantly, it is necessary for you to write that statement to say critical values because uh, you write it so that you can use that equal sign there. It's more like you're saying uh, it's more like you're saying Nkulunkulu, nkala permission ya guti nksevensi se law is equals to. Then, when the marker uh, gets to that point and they see that you've written critical values, they're saying, okay, now he has asked for a permission to write an equal sign, then you are allowed to do that. Uh, so, it is necessary, honorable member. Otherwise, if you don't, it's more like you're continuing to solve that problem. Uh, whereas it's not an equal sign there, but it is a, a, an inequality sign. So, uh, uh, now let's get to what you are wondering. You are in the right direction. This is where you say, can you see you're only having greater than. If you have greater than or less than, you are just having circles which are unshaded. But if it's greater than or less than, no, no, greater, less than is equals to, greater than is equals to, it's a circle which is shaded, circle which is shaded. So we are just having greater than, it is a circle which is not uh, shaded. So if you remember, I said uh, it's in most cases where if you are having greater than uh, there. So it's more like if you are having greater than, or you are having greater than or is equals to you have arrows pointing outwards. In terms of the circle, you will do the circle unshaded if it's that, or circles shaded if it's that. But if you are having less than, or you are having less than or is equal to, that's where you have a, a line joined by those circles. The, sh the circle uh, will be shaded or unshaded depending on whether it is greater than or it is a greater than or is equals to. So now we are having greater than there. So this is where you are having those uh, errors in that direction. And if you remember, this is where I said, you just say X, you write that arrow as it is, uh, and also the critical value there. Or uh, why or the coolest is because it's a quadratic inequality, meaning it has two possible answers. The other answer, you just have X, the arrow as it is uh, being greater than, and then you write uh, that critical value uh, there. I'm not sure if honorable members um, are getting that part. Uh, guys, are you sure you're not being confused uh, by what I'm doing there? Can you please re-explain the arrows that are facing like that way in the opposite direction? Watching this thing on behalf of... Vuiswa, uh, I got uh, your request. I'm just not sure of Busiswa. I only heard watching on behalf of... Uh, I'm just not sure. I'm, sus uh, I'm suspecting Busiswa uh, is the parent watching on behalf of... Uh, the child or something of that nature. 
but what I'm going to do now, a a voice one, I suppose everything there made sense. So let me just remove all of that and maybe try to somehow a uh, summarize it, and then we'll just say it's an investigation that we are doing, uh, of which we will come to a conclusion uh, towards examination time after we have done more of the same problems. So this is what I'm saying, Bantibagit. If you are having a greater than, then you have a, what are you having? You have arrows which are not shaded and pointing a, outwards but if you are having less than you are having a uh, that with arrows which are not um, shaded also if you have greater than or is equals to it is the circle but shaded a, a circle and shaded and then you have the outwards arrows a, if it's less than or is equals to which is that you just add that equals to then you are having that which is shaded, you're having that which is uh, shaded. Then, in terms of uh, representing as an answer, uh, for, for this one, uh, for this one, uh, let me just say it's for both. It's for both. This is where you say x, and then you use the arrow as it is. If you are having the greater than sign, it doesn't matter whether it's greater than a or is greater than or is equals to. That's what you are you are then going to write there. It's either you are going to write a what is it a for this sign? A, it's either you're saying negative. I mean less a less than or less than is equals to. It all depends on what your inequality sign is on the equation. Uh, and then you're going to write the critical value. And then you say, or then you have X, then you take that arrow as it is. Um, it's either a, it is, obviously it's in that direction, but it's either it is just that a, or it is that or it's equals to depending a, on what the problem has and then you write the critical value but a, for this one of less than you don't um, have the arrows let me put it that way and say you don't have the arrows that is where you're, you're going to always say x then it's either you have less than a less than or you have less than or is equals to a less than or is equals to then you write a, your critical values there and let's say to be more practical a, let me give some a, problems there let's say we end up having a, what is it let's say we end up having x squared a, plus 2x minus 4 maybe let's say it's less than whatever they then you do the critical values uh, you get you, you get the factors you get the critical values so now uh, here you are having your critical uh, values so obviously because it is not a uh, that one of is equals to is just less than this is where you are just going to have unshaded a uh, what is it? Unshaded circles. Then can you see under that, uh, it's not the outwards arrows, but uh, this is what you are having. So always when you are having this, let's say your critical values, it is a negative one and three. So that means there you're going to have negative one and then that side you're going to have a three. I'm not sure, guys, if this one makes sense. Maybe let's say it was less than or is equals to is equals to. This or is equals to, it doesn't change much. It's only that here you are having the shaded uh, circles. And also, when you represent it, you represent it as less than or is equals to. 
as less than or equals to because originally from the uh, less than or is equals to. Uh, sure, I think I'm losing you guys. Uh, I don't know why I feel like I'm losing you guys. Uh, but Vuiswa, uh, are you getting me there? Okay, yeah, I get it. So if you have the greater than sign, do you always mm -hmm. use the, the outward arrows? All, all the time. Wait, uh, what did you say there? Like in your, like your sum, like let's say mm. you have the greater than sign. Do you mm. always use that one? The, so the, the unshaded. Dots. Yeah. Yes, yes. But the, the unshaded circles. But okay. only if it's greater than or is equals to, it is the shaded uh, circles. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. So this is how I cramped it. Can you see for this one, which is just greater than, you only use a marker or a pen once. So that is why even the circle, you only uh, circle once. But this one of having its equals to, can you see what you do? One, two, one, two. Uh, can you see there, Vuiswa? Yeah, I get it. Thank you. So that's how you remember that uh, this one is unshaded and this one is shaded because you need to work two times there. You should work it out two times there. There you work it out once. Uh, same applies for those. So now, in terms of representing an inequality, it's either you represent it this way. So you, you always represent it this way when you are having uh, the outward or when you are having uh, the greater than sign from the original equation. And you always represent it this way when you are having a, a what is it? The less than or the less than is equals to sign. This is how you represent it. So it's more like an inequality sign. It can finally be represented in two ways. Uh, and it all depends on what you are having after writing it in the standard form. Uh, most importantly, not necessarily from the original equation, but uh, it's based on what you find after you've written it in the standard form. Because remember, this inequality sign can change if your A value is negative, because you need to change the sign of everything. But uh, with the example that we have done, uh, our inequality chain, I mean, sign remained the same. It didn't change. So uh, that is why throughout all the steps, it has been the same. Uh, I'm not sure. Are you guys having some light in there? Because I'm still going to prepare a special lesson where I train you on only questions related to inequality so that it sinks. But for now, uh, are you getting it nyana nyana there? Yes, sir. Has question. Uh, the Maumis, are you yes, saying please. something that side? Yes, please. Can you can you remind me how you mm. how do you check the greater than um and the less than the way you put your hands? How do you do it the other day? They. Uh, no, how to check the signs. Ne? There's another time you show us, you put your hands on this to check if it's greater than on your left oh, side or right side. Okay, okay. So that one, uh, I was just saying, are, are you right-handed or are you left-handed? Right. Right-handed. Yeah. So with your right hand, do like this. It, it, it looks like that, isn't it? With your right yeah. hand. Mm. And then if you do the same with your left hand uh, and bend your elbow there, it looks like this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so meaning this is your left hand and this is your right hand. You tell me which uh, hand is greater in in energy between your left and right hand. Left. Hey. Hey. <laughs> right. 
Ay, 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 which hand do you use the most? Which hand has more energy between your left right. and right? Yes, right. meaning meaning your right hand side is greater in energy, isn't it? Okay. Yes, yeah, so that word greater, uh, it means this is the sign that is called greater than. Okay. Obviously, this one will be uh, less than so i was just trying to explain how you can cram it because there are some other learners who confuse uh, the signs they are not sure which one is less than which one is greater than so you just need to remember that if you are right-handed uh, it can be best explained using that scenario to say if you do that that being your elbow with your right hand it makes that shape and then that with your left that shape. so that means uh, since you are right-handed, it means your right hand is greater in energy. Therefore, this is the sign which is called a uh, greater than. And then the opposite uh, is that one. So the moment you start having that, it is still the same, greater or it's equals to that one less or it's equals to. So uh, this, uh, the Ma'umis, it has got nothing to do with uh, that, that calculation. It's just for you when you do your first year. Uh, you don't want a situation where you are making noise uh, in your lecture saying, uh, "Say that right, uh, that what what is it? That greater than sign there uh, is wrong." Uh, you find that you're referring to uh, the wrong sign. So it it was just for that purpose, uh, not that uh, it's been used in calculations. I'm pretty much sure that. Um, you got it, Mus uh, Umi. Thank we told you. you the yes. Okay. Uh, this is what we are now uh, having. So this is the question that is allocated. Uh, what is it? Four marks. So I'm quickly going to take you through uh, that one uh, and say, okay, you remember, guys, we said when we are having square roots we always try by all means to isolate the square roots meaning you take everything uh, to the other side or you take everything uh, away so that means you you're remaining with two square root of x plus six which is equals to x then you are having a minus two there so the, the makulis can you see now in this case this is where um you are having a square root and you want to remove it. So this is where you introduce a square or you square the whole of that. So you can confidently do that because you're doing it on both sides. So you are not really changing the original equation because you are uh, doing it bo on both uh, sides. Let me quickly explain this thing of uh, why when you do something, you have to do it on both sides. Let's say four it's equals to four. Four is equals to four, that's true. But the moment um, you square this four on the left side, it is no longer four, but it is 16. So it's more like now it's 16 is equals to four, which is not true. So that is why whatever that you do on the left, you also need to do it on the right so that uh, 16 will be equals to a 16. So in that way, you are not really tampering with the original equation. For example, if you say I'm going to multiply uh, both sides by y, if you multiply here by y, you must also multiply this side by y because this times that it ends up being 16y, which has to be the same as that on the other side. So that is the reason why when you do something on the other side, you must also do on the other side. It is for that reason. So can you see? You remember the loss of exponents or uh, the, the definitions, yes, where we say this uh, power to power. I remember you when I have to say uh, power to power. So you say two 
uh, you multiply the exponent which is invisible one by two, it ends up being two to the exponent that. But most importantly, you need to make sure that the whole of that, Carol, it's inside uh, the brackets. Because if you don't put it inside the brackets, it's more like you're saying you have two squared x, and then you'll forget and say six, uh, which is very, very dangerous. So now, uh, here, we are having two of the same thing being uh, that. Okay, so let's see. Can you see, guys, this thing is actually four. I'm not sure if you guys are able to notice that. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, two squared is actually four. Then from there, you can easily say this by that, that by that. Remember, guys, in life, especially, let me say, as far as mathematics is concerned, we always try to remove the brackets. That is why I know that I need to say that by that, that by that, meaning we are having a 4x. What is that by that? I think it's 24. Someone correct me there if I'm wrong. So also we need to remove the brackets, that by that, that by that, that by that. So we are having x squared, that times that is minus 2x, that by that it's minus 2x, that by that is positive a 4. So can you see, I see that, that means I'm going to be dealing with a quadratic a, equation. So what I'm doing now, it is just to work out the like terms, because those two, they work out to be a, a negative 4. So now let's do that one of saying a uh, umi is a person a person is umi so maybe let's move all of this to the right side why am i not moving this to the left side and uh, having everything equated to zero it's because i don't want to do a long dry where i take this to the other side is now negative x squared i take that it works out then it's equals to zero because i'll still need to remove that negative and say x squared change the sign whatever a whatever change the sign, whatever, and say equals to zero. So that is why I'm doing the umi is a person, a person is umi. Meaning, I'm just going to remain with zero and move everything to the other side. Uh, this is negative uh, 4x. So this is the one that I will put it closer to uh, that, and then it changes a sign, it is not. So uh, I'm having four already. This is the one that I'm transposing and it changes the sign, it becomes that. So uh, let's see, you're still having zero uh, x squared. What is this two? This is negative eight x. What is that? This is negative uh, 20. So now I can write it nicely and say this thing is actually the same as x squared minus eight uh, a minus 20, it's equals to zero. So this is what I call a person is umi, but uh, to say it nicely, we say Umi is a person. Maybe before I get to the final answer, uh, do you understand what I was doing there or am I losing you guys? Understood, sir. Is it the same for everyone? Uh, Nomsa, Nox, uh, Sidot, Lesseri, Oh, snegugula, snegugungos. Eh, let's see. The pindis, are we doing okay that side in Limpopo? Eh, alikom notoza. Guys, are you sure we are on the same page up to this stage? Yes, yes we are. Okay. So now, we need to factorize. Guys, uh, for the rest of the year, you'll be factorizing. It's a lot of things that needs factorization. Um, so two things again, when multiplied together, they give us 20 and we can still work them out together. To give, I think it's two and 10. This one, I know from the bottom of my heart, uh, two and 10. Um, and the bigger number takes the sign of the middle term. And... Uh, uh, for this thing to work and give us negative, I need to have a positive there. Meaning, finally, I'm going to have x, which is equals to negative 2, or uh, x 
equals to a positive 10. So now uh, we need to test these two values because uh, it's only one possible answer that uh, we will have. So now let's try to test these two numbers and check which one is a solution and which one is not a solution. To do that, uh, where you see x, you substitute negative uh, two there, and you punch all of that. It has to give us. Uh, it has to give you negative two. Uh, also, you punch uh, ten. You substitute ten there. Uh, whatever that you get, it has to give you that same x value. Uh, what are you guys getting there? Which one is a solution? Ten, sir. Someone is saying 10. Let me see. Uh, guys, what are, what are you getting that side? Okay, plus 6, plus 2. Yes, oh, 10. Sorry. It gives 10. Let me test negative 2. Negative 2. Negative 2, it gives 6. Whereas, no. Negative 2, it is not a solution. The one which is not a solution, this is the one that you cross it like that. So, that means you're going to have another, I mean, one answer being equals to the other one having a, that, meaning it is not a solution, but this is um, a solution. So I'm not sure if you guys uh, fully understand uh, what I've done over there. Any questions in relation to that one? Uh, no, sir. It makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. So now, uh, that's how you score yourself how many marks. It's also a given a... What is it? It's also given four marks. So I think... Uh, we might need to leave it there and maybe continue with that question um, tomorrow. So I think, yes, let's leave it there. We'll continue with that uh, problem uh, tomorrow. And most importantly, guys, just in case if you're doing uh, accounting, an accounting lesson will be conducted tomorrow uh, by Mem Cynthia together with a mess lead for those of you guys who are also doing pumas and mess lead. Uh, before I send out uh, any questions, Bantu uh, Bagit, in relation to what we have done today. No, sir. No, sir. No question, Your Honor. Okay, so guys, I do thank you very much for joining. As always, uh, my name is Desmond, uh, and I'm out. <laughs>